assalamu alaikum uh, today we are going to study about the pelvis this is the model of the female pelvis and it has been taken with a median plane all right so we can visualize all the organs and the structures in the pelvis now what we can visualize here is this is the l5 vertebra this is the intervertebral disc between l5 and the sacrum this is the sacral body and the coccyx most inferiorly this is the spinal cord which is present between in the vertebral canal this is the rectum and the sigmoid colon this rectum is opening into the anal canal with the anal sphincters external anal sphincters this is the uterus this is the urinary bladder this is the pubic symphysis and uh, now let us see what we can um, see in these in detail all right this is the rectum this is the rectovaginal septum this is the uterus this is the body of uh, this is the body of the uterus and the uterine cavity now uterine cavity this part is the cervix and this cervix opens into the vagina this is the posterior vaginal fornix this is the anterior vaginal fornix and this is the cavity of the vagina now in front this is the urinary bladder all right if we talk, uh, see the aspect which was the, uh, against the pelvic wall what we can see is from the uterus from the uterus extends the uterine tube this is the uterine tube and it's fimbriated part the fimbria this is the ovary which is in a cystic form present in this model all right this is going to be the round ligament of the uterus this is the uh, broad ligament all right these are the ovarian vessels the ovarian artery and the ovarian vein these are the uterine vessels the ut uh, uterine artery and the uterine vein these uterine vessels cross superiorly on uh, on the ureters so we say that the, the water is under the bridge that is the bridge is formed by the ure uterine vessels and this is the ureter this ureter is opening onto the um, urinary bladder so this these are the things that we can see on the pelvic surface of these structures now if we look closely on the model of the pelvis what we can see is from the superior aspect this is the sauce muscle this sauce muscle is an elongated fusiform muscle this is iliacus muscle all right and this is the um, anterior abdominal wall and the tra fascia transversalis if you look at the muscles this is the external oblique this is the internal oblique and this is the transversus abdominis muscle posteriorly these are the muscles of the back this is the l5 vertebra if you look at the muscles of the pelvis what we can see is that this is the obturator internus muscle this is the tendinous arch or the white line tendinous arc of the obturator internus on which the levator and eye muscle is attached so this all of it is the levator and eye muscle this is the obturator internus muscle and this part on which the sacral plexus is present this is the piriformis muscle all right if we come towards the nerves what we can see is these are the branches of the lumbar plexus so this is the lateral femoral cutaneous nerve which crosses the iliacus muscle there is a nerve which is present between the swas and the iliacus this nerve is the femoral nerve which is going to go into the inguinal triangle all right another nerve is present here which is going to divide into two branches this is the genitofemoral nerve if we put a point here this is the genitofemoral nerve but if we put a point on these two this is the femoral branch of the genitofemoral nerve and this is the genital branch of the genitofemoral nerve now if we look at these three structures that are coming from the upper part these are the as this is the model of the female pelvis these are the ovarian vessels and the ureter so uh, this green structure anywhere along its way this ureter is going to go towards the pelvis uh, it is going to cross the pelvic wall and going to open into the urinary bladder this is the ureter this green structure is the ureter all right 
if you look inside the pelvic wall this is the obturator nerve this is going to pierce the obturator canal it is going to pierce the um, or traverse the obturator canal with the obturator vessels this structure in white which was coming towards the anterior superior aspect of the uterus this is the round ligament of the uterus so remember you have to look at the model this is the model of the female pelvis so this is going to be the round ligament of the uterus now if we look at the blood vessels what we can visualize is this is the uh, common iliac vessels so the common iliac vessel is dividing into an external iliac branch and an internal iliac branch the external iliac vessels are um, on the only branch that can be visualized is this branch and this is the deep circumflex iliac artery and uh, its corresponding vein that is the deep circumflex iliac vein all right another branch that we can visualize from the uh, that is coming from the external iliac is this branch this is the inferior epigastric artery and um, along with vein this is the inferior epigastric vein another muscle that is visualized is this this is the uh, start of the rectus abdominis muscle all right we were talking about the blood vessels the uh, this is the ovarian vessels ovarian vessels are coming down into the pelvis and they are going to go towards the ovaries that is here they are going to go towards the uh, ovaries and going to supply the ovaries and the uh, distal end of the uterine tube after that we said that this is the common iliac common iliac is dividing into an external iliac and internal iliac branches the external iliac is giving two branches this is the inferior epigastric artery and this is the deep circumflex iliac artery if we look at the uh, branches of the internal iliac inside the pelvis the first artery that we can see is this one this is moving towards the anterior abdominal wall this artery is the uh, umbilical artery this umbilical artery in the distal part of its course it becomes the median umbilical ligament it gets obliterated and forms a fold of peritoneum that is called the median medial umbilical ligament this is the superior vesical artery all right so what we said was the first branch is the umbilical artery this umbilical um, this umbilical artery in its distal part becomes obliterated and is called the obliterated umbilical artery and it forms a fold which is called the medial umbilical ligament this is the superior vesical artery the second artery is obturator artery as we can see that it is uh, entering into the obturator internus and it is going to go towards the obturator canal this was the ureter which was a green structure after that this is the uterine artery which is present only in the uh, females after that uh, there are two branches the middle rectal and the inferior vesical arteries these inferior vesicles and middle rectal can be direct branches of the internal potential or uh, um, internal iliac or they can be the uh, um, uh, from a single branch and after that they divide into this inferior vesicle and the middle rectal artery the last branch that can be visualized this is the internal potential artery all of these were the branches of the anterior division of the internal iliac artery from the posterior division we can see this artery that is moving along the vertebral column this is the ilio lumbar artery this which is moving on the sacral plexus this is the lateral sacral artery and the artery that is moving into the um, greater sciatic foramen above the piriformis this is the superior gluteal artery one branch of the inferior division that is uh, anterior division that is not visualized here is the inferior gluteal artery all right after that this is the sacral plexus if we look inferiorly what we can see here is that this is the anal canal this is the pectineal line these are the um, anal valves 
that are present above the pectineal line this is the uh, anal canal below the pectineal line these are the external anal sphincters this is the vaginal opening this is the urethra and the, uh, uh, this is the venous supply along the urethra so these are the structures that we can visualize in the female pelvis